Have you ever wondered how to create a membership for your planner community? And let me rephrase that the other way, how to build a planner community if you're just starting from scratch, because today's video will teach you how to do both. So I have a quick and easy checklist of 10 items to get up and running by today. And I'm also going to give you a quick tutorial on Circle, which is my favorite tool for memberships and where I host mine. And you can host both paid and free memberships on there. And it's super easy. It looks gorgeous and beautiful and it's really easy to use. So if you want to download today's workbook, make sure to check the link in the description. I have two examples that we're gonna go through today. I put those actually in the workbook as well as left space for you to put information in there. Did I call it a checklist? It's both a checklist and a workbook, cheat sheet kind of thing. It's a wrap up of everything that we talked about today in a PDF. So, so make sure to download it so you can follow along. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. All right, so let's go through that list. If you haven't printed out, you can follow along and fill in as we go. The first one is you just need to come up with a name for your group. And this will really help center you and solidify like where you want to go, the direction, your personality with the name that you choose, and also kind of just get you excited. So step number two is purpose. So this should be pretty easy. Don't overthink it. I can't tell you how much of a pet peeve it is when people say, come up with a mission statement. I'm like, this is so like painful that I don't even move on to the next step and I just quit. But this is just like, why are we here? And so for productivity, it's just to help each other to be more efficient with our time, uh, find some time hacks, find some easier ways to do stuff, so find ways to outsource things. Um, for the bullet journals, it could be ways to improve your art, different tools to use, different techniques for drawing and illustration. Uh, so make it quick and move on. Uh, the third one is a member avatar. And by this, I don't mean like she goes shopping at Ralph's, her local grocery store, or she only goes to the farmer's market. Like we don't care about those details. All we care about is the personality. So everybody in your community will be interacting with each other, right? It's a membership. You're trying to help people make connections and be friends. So in your connections, just think about real life. I like people who are very nice and kind and like positive and good natured and maybe a little dorky, right? So, right? so think about that and that will help you to kind of put together what, uh, how you think people will interact and also some of the questions that you will ask. Uh, the fourth one is branding. So I actually did the branding for Busy Bees. I thought when I started Goal Getters in January, I thought this was it. I was just gonna talk about productivity. And then I realized, you know what? My audience is really more, uh, planner, they all want to create planners. So I put in an unlimited planner template download membership and that became Planner Pixies. So, you know, don't worry also if you start with something and you end up changing later, it, it happens. Um, the fifth thing is to create a welcome packet. Now, I know a lot of people are putting their membership and knowledge bases on Notion and that's great, especially when you have a lot of code that is copy and paste. However, aside from that, I don't enjoy Notion at all. I would prefer a PDF, something I can print out and take notes on. And I'm pretty sure I am in the majority and everyone still loves a PDF. And I realize that as the creator, it is easier for you of the information to just update something really quickly in Notion. But me as the user, I don't really like that. I would say create a nice little welcome packet, uh, PDF. Um, and then the next thing that you want to do is you want to have new member orientation. Now this can look very different depending on the nature of your group. And you know, if it's a $10,000 membership, maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one orientation or you have staff and they do a discovery call with somebody. Uh, for number seven, you're going to tr map out a year in the life. And then I would put together a year in the life of like when you join, you should start taking these courses and practicing these habits. And that would be what I would do for Busy Bees. Now for a bullet journal, it would be very different. So maybe it would be, I'd have courses like Drawing 101, then I'd have courses on brushes and watercolors, and then I'd have courses on brush lettering. And I'm making this up because I don't know how to draw, but that would be kind of what I would envision how they are supposed to take all of your courses. So 
when you have a template, like I have a template library, and when you have a photo stock library, you really don't have to map out how people are going to use those resources because they're kind of self-explanatory and they're more just like assets, like graphics assets and images versus when you have a course, you want to kind of help people to say, okay, I kind of really saw this course as your first month, this is your second, and this is your third, et cetera. Uh, so that is the year and the life. Now, the number eight is monthly themes. So in general, especially if you have members that are paying a monthly fee, they usually like to see new content every month to see what they're getting. And this used to be the only, I wouldn't say the only, but the, the primary most popular model that people were using for memberships. Um, that has since changed. We're going to talk about the next one, which is weekly. But for your monthly, I would just offer new topics that you're going to talk about, whether you release a new course or you release a new chat or a live stream or a tutorial or a demo or something, I would have something for each month. Um, so in my membership, we have challenges and they actually get to vote on those. But for yours, you might want to pick them out. Number nine is weekly updates. So are like a weekly calendar. So kind of like how the rhythm of the week goes, right? So you have Monday, through Sunday, or you might think of the week as Saturday through Sunday, it doesn't really matter. You just wanna make sure that you are kind of doing the same things each week. So I have a Monday Eve newsletter I always send out on Monday Eve, which is Sunday. Uh, and then number 10 is price and benefits. There's two major ways to price, and this is the same for both groups. It doesn't really matter which. Um, you can price by tiers. So like a, uh, silver, a bronze, silver, and gold package based on how much you're going to offer to each group, or for timing. So you could say you can pay based on a monthly membership, which is usually a higher rate, and then quarterly where they can save some money by paying you for the three months in advance, or annual where they save a lot. And of course you could offer lifetime memberships. Um, usually people kind of wait and do those during Black Friday or once a year annual kind of sale. Uh, and that is all 10 steps. How easy was that? All right, I wanted to just share with you my planner community. So I created this free pop-up group for Planner 101, and here is the home feed. Looks just like Facebook, which everyone loves and is used to, except for 100%, everyone gets to see my posts. So I don't have to worry about nobody seeing them, and I can change the settings for that. Um, I can actually interact with my members. I can see their email addresses. Um, they can upload their pictures just like in um Facebook. And then over here, I can create new sections for them to kind of guide them through the process. Like start here. I can put a say hello. And I can also change this layout. So you can see this one looks a little bit more like Facebook with the reverse chronological order of the posts. And this one has little boxes. So if I go to another date that has more boxes, it's a little easier to read and see. And so then this also was super helpful because this course area, they can um, zip it up or they can expand it. And then you can easily put all the content you need inside different containers versus on Facebook, it's just like one continuous never ending stream. You can also add links. So over here I had Planner Academy on sale during the pop-up sh shop group. Um, they could connect to my YouTube channel um, and I don't want to listen to that. Um, they could follow me on Instagram. I mean, I could have put as many links as I wanted down here. Um, and the nice thing too, is if you are used to Teachable, you do like having everything in one place with one login. It doesn't matter which group I log into, as long as I, at, here at the top right, Lisa, am logged in with the correct email to all of these other groups, I can easily get into them. So here's the circle community and I can jump in here. And also, you know, Circle has their own community on Circle, obviously, and they're really great about telling you about what's new, what's coming up, um, help items, and uh, just answering any questions that you need uh, and doing demos for you. Uh, here is Brendan Bouchard's group. Nope, here is Brendan Bouchard's group with the I. And again, you could leave it as a letter. You can put your own logo like I did over here or like this graphic logo. Um, lots of customization, but not so much that it like looks like it's just crazy. Um, so Brendan Bouchard has done something interesting. He split up both his free and his paid memberships in here. So if we go into, um, I think the mastermind. So if I want to look at his mastermind uh, marketing playbook, I cannot see it because I'm not a member, but I could apply to be a member. So when I click this, it will take me anywhere he has told them to take. He's told me to, or told Circle to take this to you, 
this type form application, but you could send it to a sales page like I had for Boss School, or you could send it to checkout, or you could just have them pay right inside of Circle. It's super, super convenient. So you can see that little lock symbol over here too. Um, so you have to be invited to this space. So he has free and uh, private paid groups all mixed in, and then he's able to differentiate them on the backside. So it's super, super easy. Um, here is the Planner Pixies group uh, over here, and you can see there are still a couple steps that I could cake to make it even better. Um, but we have like a really great um, list of items that everyone sees. And so I never, ever have to worry about people not seeing my posts anymore because I can change that in the back end on the settings. I have links down here and I can also, it just makes it a lot cleaner when you can go to events. You can go to announcements, you can go to monthly goals, you know, you can go to the secret videos, right? And you can go into any of these and watch them right inside of here without having to go somewhere separate. Um, and I found this to be super, super convenient. Now, originally I was on Facebook um, and just nobody was seeing my posts and, you know, not everybody is on Facebook and it might be a little invasive when you get a friend request from somebody in a business group where you're like, I was just trying to get some business advice, wasn't really looking for that. Over here, Patreon is really set up for collecting money. And so it's not a friendly environment for a free group like we did this Planner 101 pop-up group, uh, which was, again, really meant for just getting people in and chatting for that one week. And, you know, Patreon is not set up like that. And honestly, when we tried to do that, when Courtney and I did that for the Cozy Escape, it was just really confusing for people and we got a lot of questions. So I have loved Circle. Um, if you're wondering, I am on the professional plan because it's based on really how many spaces that you are getting or able to have inside of there. So this gives me 20 spaces on the professional. And if you're wondering what a space is, so over here, each of these areas is a space. So let's go back here to pretty fabulous. Um, this is the planner pixies. And so introductions is a space, new member orientations is a space, announcements, events, uh, goals and challenges. So the more spaces you have, the more uh, that you're going to have to increase that. Now, I know what you're thinking. What if I go beyond the 20? Don't worry. You don't have to jump to enterprise. <laughs> they will let you pay for spaces uh, ad hoc as you need them. Um, but 20 is usually about what everybody needs for their particular group. And they will host your content, whether those are downloads or video or GIFs or anything else. Um, and then you can have, you can actually live stream inside of Circle just like you would inside of Facebook, but without all the confusing like tech and like things dropping. It works just fine. I've done it before. Um, and you can also have your own custom domain. So mine, I don't know if you can see, it's connect.prettyfabulousdesigns.com. So it is a um, subdomain and I was able to easily hook that up. It only took a couple seconds. So Love, love, love everything about Circle, and I hope that you would love it too. It's actually becoming super popular, um, and you can make it. So uh, two things. One, you can make it so that your group does not show up in the aggregate area. Maybe you have a super private, super private group, or maybe it's something sensitive, uh, something very personal, like a therapy-related group, and maybe... They just don't want you to see it in case other people are using Circle for work-related things. I hope that was helpful, and I can't wait to see what you create. And don't forget to download your free checklist for today on how to set up your own planner community.